What if I told you there's a place in the vast, sun-scorched desert of Saudi Arabia rumored to be a lair of werewolves? A place where bones both human and animal litter the floor of a dark, yawning cave. This isn't just some campfire story whispered by locals. It's a real place, a massive lava tube known as Um Jirsan. For years, tales of strange creatures and mysterious remains have swirled around this cavern, creating a legend that is as intriguing as it is terrifying. The stories speak of a place where things go in but don't always come out, a subterranean world guarded by supernatural beasts. It's the kind of mystery that gets my heart racing, a perfect blend of folklore history and adventure. These rumors, as wild as they sound, pointed to something real. They led archaeologists to a discovery that is rewriting the history of ancient Arabia. The so-called Werewolf Cave has turned out to be one of the most significant archaeological sites ever found in the region. Hidden deep beneath the volcanic fields of Harit Kabar, this cave held secrets preserved for thousands of years. The real story isn't about monsters, but it's just as captivating. Prepare to leave the modern world behind and descend into the secrets of the Saudi desert. Before we can understand the secrets of the cave, we need to understand the world it exists in. The site is located in a region called Herat Kaibar, a massive otherworldly volcanic field in western Saudi Arabia. Imagine a landscape stretching for thousands of square miles, covered in black, jagged basalt rock from ancient lava flows. It looks like something from another planet. This is not the gentle, sandy desert you might picture. It is a harsh, formidable environment, sculpted by immense geological forces over millions of years. A stark black canvas under a blazing sun. This volcanic field is home to hundreds of geological wonders. Volcanic cones, craters, lava tubes. Um, Jirsan is one of these, and it is a monster. It's a subterranean network that runs for nearly a mile, making it the longest lava tube ever discovered in Saudi Arabia. These tunnels were formed when rivers of molten lava flowed from a volcano. The outer surface cooled and hardened, while liquid rock inside continued to flow away, leaving a long, hollow tunnel. The recent push in archaeological research across Saudi Arabia is part of the Kingdom's Vision 2030, a plan to open up its rich cultural and historical heritage to the world. For decades, these incredible landscapes were largely unexplored by international teams. Now researchers are fanning out across the country, using new technology and collaborative efforts to uncover lost cities, ancient tombs, prehistoric sites. The work in Harat Kebar is at the forefront of this new wave. The exploration of Um Jirsan is a key project within this larger initiative. A team of Saudi and international researchers set out to systematically investigate the lava tube. They weren't hunting for werewolves, of course. They were hunting for evidence of the ancient people who might have used this natural shelter. Travelers, herders, hunters moving across the unforgiving volcanic plains. Why is a cave, specifically a lava tube, so important for archaeology? It all comes down to one word, preservation. Out in the open desert, the evidence of ancient life is quickly erased. The intense sun, blistering heat, powerful winds, and occasional flash floods break down and scatter artifacts. Organic materials like wood, leather, cloth, and even bone stand little chance of survival. Imagine trying to piece together a puzzle where most of the pieces have been bleached, sandblasted, or washed away. Lava tubes like Um Jirsan are the complete opposite. They are natural time capsules, cool, stable, dark, shielding fragile remnants of the past for millennia. This exceptional preservation is what makes Um Jirsan a treasure trove. The cave floor was littered with a staggering amount of material, most notably bones. These bones are not just silent objects. They are data-rich records of the past. They can tell us what animals people were herding, what they were hunting, and even what they were eating. The stable environment preserved them so well that scientists could extract ancient DNA and proteins. Beyond bones, the cave walls held clues. Carvings and paintings made by people who took shelter there, protected from weathering. They provide a direct window into the minds of ancient people. Um, Jirsan offers preserved biological remains and cultural expressions, a uniquely powerful site. Investigating a site as complex as Um Jirsan requires a multi-pronged scientific approach. It's like a massive crime scene investigation. But the crime is thousands of years old. 
Archaeologists carefully mapped the system, divided it into a grid, and excavated controlled trenches layer by layer, recording every find. The sheer volume of bones required zooarchaeologists, specialists in ancient animal remains, to identify tens of thousands of fragments by species. This revealed cattle, sheep, goats, gazelles, ibex. They even found the bones of predators like hyenas and wolves, which likely used the cave as a den when humans weren't around. The presence of these carnivores helps explain the massive accumulation, the boneyard that fueled the werewolf legends. Specialists documented rock art using photography and tracing, recording images of cattle, sheep, goats, dogs. This art confirmed the animals important to the people using the cave. Cutting-edge isotopic analysis sampled human and animal bones, examining carbon and nitrogen, elements absorbed from food and water, to reconstruct diet. Results showed humans with protein-rich diets and animals grazing on wild grasses and shrubs, revealing grazing patterns and climate. Evidence that these people were not just surviving, but thriving. So, what did all this evidence reveal? The data paints a clear picture of repeated human occupation of Umjirsan, stretching from the Neolithic period to the Bronze Age, about 7,000 to 4,500 years ago. These were not cavemen in the stereotypical sense. They were sophisticated pastoralists, people who herded domesticated animals. The number of cattle, sheep, and goat bones shows herds were the cornerstone of life. They likely moved seasonally, following rains and fresh pastures. High nitrogen isotopes point to a protein-rich diet, often from plants and dairy, suggesting livestock were sustained for milk, blood, or wealth, not constant meat. Mmm, Jirsan wasn't a permanent home. It was a seasonal camp, shade, protection from predators, and relief from the sun on migration routes. This flips the script. These volcanic fields, once thought empty and uninhabitable, were corridors for movement and settlement. Now we come back to the legend, the werewolf. It's easy to see how the myth took root inside a mile-long cave strewn with bones, including wolves. Science shows a logical story. Livestock remains from pastoralists, natural deaths, feast debris, plus striped hyenas and wolves dragging prey into a den over millennia. Human remains dated to around 4000 BC show hardship, but no monster attack. Most likely a cave burial, sacred, protected. So while a Saudi werewolf makes a thrilling tale, the reality is ecology and history, no less wondrous. Working in the Arabian desert is formidable. Extreme heat, UV, abrasive winds, accelerating decay as researchers race to record the past. Sites with special preservation, caves and lava tubes, defy the desert's destructive power changing what we can recover, animal bones, plant remains, fragile ancient DNA, but they're finite and fragile, collapses, looting, accidental damage. Once destroyed, information is gone forever. That's why systematic exploration of Um Jirsan is urgent, rescuing Arabia's deep past before the pages crumble to dust. These discoveries are more than a collection of old bones and artifacts. They shift our understanding of Arabia.